Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of products. These are by Creative Craft Products and this is kind of a home brand of craft stash. You will find links to these products in the description box down below and I have got picture links uh, over on my blog as well. Again, there'll be a link in the description box. Um, so this is the Honeycomb Christmas. So we have got a bunch of different dies here. We've got a stamp set so with sentiment and then we have the honeycomb paper as well so before we take a look at these products I just want to show you um, the die cut and essentials issue 83 and I did a commission for that magazine using these products so let me show you that one first so this is the honeycomb Christmas uh, commission that I did so we've got different dies in here that's going to create obviously uh, different Christmas elements and you can use those to create uh, Christmas decorations uh, home decor and I did use some of these as well uh, to create cards so let me just show you uh, let's just lift this out of that glare uh, so here we have an A5 uh, card using the Santa die then we've got a Christmas ornament here so this is a Christmas tree and this has got then that honeycomb uh, back to it you can just sort of slightly see it there with then those decorations we've got the honeycomb bauble and again I've used some of that honeycomb paper to create a uh, kind of honeycomb center in the middle then over on this page we have got the uh, penguin napkin holder so this is using the penguin die and I did just create a ring uh, to be attached to that then we have the snowman and I created a slimline card with this uh, snowman here and again I've just taken that bottom piece and I've used some of that honeycomb paper to create sort of a 3D element there. And then we have the reindeer so I created a shaker tag from this and I really love how this one turned out. So if you do have the magazine there is a 20% off offer um, again over on the Craft Stash website this is exclusive to them because it is their own uh, product range but again you'll find links uh, they are affiliate links so no extra cost to you but I do get a small commission if you use those links you can find those in the description box down below so now let me actually show you the products themselves so the first thing I want to show you, this is the Honeycomb Christmas Sentiments A6 stamp set. Uh, so we have lots of sentiments in here, you've got the little Christmas tree and then you do have the um, snowflakes and a star as well. So you've got Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Ho Ho Ho, uh, have a cool Yule and Happiness, Seasons Greetings. And then you do have some other uh, stamps here which can be used with the honeycomb kind of element. So you've got Pull, Open peel and stick and then of course you do have then the to and from to create a tag as well so this is going to be a perfect add-on to use with this honeycomb christmas set so now let me show you the uh, actual dies themselves so here we do have six uh, dies in this collection so first of all let's start off with our snowman so this isn't to scale if i just show you these are absolutely huge um you really do get a lot of metal for your mini with them so they come just in this bag so here we have the actual snowman die and this measures kind of roughly three inches wide by about five inches tall so three inches at its widest point by sort of just under five so it's a really fantastic size now I created a slimline card using this uh, snowman and I really had to cut uh, part of the arms off to get that to fit in so it shows you just kind of how big it is but what you do get in here as well is uh, your dies to be able to basically create the snowman that you've got here on the front so you have your sort of main uh, snowman die there you have got one die which has got his arms his nose and a pipe another die which has got the hat and then you've got three buttons uh, so you can see he's got three buttons uh, just down his body then this die here we've got the scarf and then those two mittens as well so you can really build this up exactly how you want to and then you have this die here so this is going to work with your honeycomb paper um, and this is going to turn it into kind of a honeycomb ornament so you can see here that this is just half a die and I'll show you how you can die cut this from that honeycomb paper all you need to do is just die cut this piece and once you've got it from the honeycomb paper you can open it out and it is going to create you a really beautiful ornament so you do have that additional die in there so you can use it to create an ornament or you can just use it like I did on my card just simply uh, to create your snowman 
Next up we have our penguin, so again you have all the different elements in here, you have the body, you've got the, the belly, the arms and the face with then the hat and the scarves and its feet as well. So you've got seven dies in here, so you've got between sort of five, six and seven dies, um, so enough to be able to decorate these. And again if I just show you this particular one, so these all come with that die that you can use to create that sort of honeycomb ornament. Then we have our bauble, so we've got the main bauble itself with a little bit of detailing on here we do have then some decoration you've got a bow with a piece of string and then we do have our snowflake so what I did uh, for my commission is I then die cut a circle from the center of this bauble and created kind of a spinning uh, circle honeycomb element in the middle there and that one then comes with six dies then we have our Christmas tree. This has got eight dies in here. Again, you have the main Christmas tree. You've then got kind of the um, trunk is part of that same die. You've got the uh, pot for it to sit in and then you do have the present and then those ornaments to be able to decorate. And again, this comes with a half Christmas tree die to create that honeycomb element. Next, we have got our Santa die. Again, this has got eight dies in it. Um, so for my card and my commission that I created for the magazine, I wanted to use this in a different way so I just created a card and all I did then was basically just cut off the top of Santa so I literally just used the bottom section but what you have here again is all the layering elements uh, to be able to add sort of the trim to his coat we've got the belt again the hat and you will notice this is similar uh, to one of our previous magazine free gifts we had that retro Santa I believe that was die cutting essentials that is that same kind of style so those papers the downloadable papers would work perfectly with this Santa and again then you do get an element in here to create a honeycomb uh, ornament. Then lastly we have our reindeer so this has got nine dies in and like I said before this is really big it's such a beautiful size um, I really love having those kind of larger dies um, but you can see just how big this is so if I just measure so this is kind of roughly six inch uh, by about four and a half inch, four and three quarter inch. So this is really, really big. But you have the actual head. Then you have uh, the top part, uh, which is going to add his nose into it. So we've got those pieces. We've then got a die for his uh, nose, which is going to go on there. Lovely. Again, we've got that honeycomb element to die. And then we just have some decorative pieces. We've got the two uh, dies here that can be used to die cut his uh, inside of his ears. We've got the bell, we've got a bow, the holly. The other thing I just wanna mention regarding some of these dies is, so for example, on this die, we do have the eyes and we do have those cheeks. This isn't gonna emboss, this isn't gonna add any detail when you die cut it. Um, but what I did was I simply just uh, traced through the eyes just with a black fine liner, but you could then just ink blend through this as well if you wanted to add that color as well so you do have options to add these details or of course you can add your own details on there but I really love this reindeer because I do think it's a really fantastic size so lastly, this is the honeycomb paper. So you get five sheets of A4 uh, honeycombed paper. So you can see, obviously, I've used some of mine. Um, but yeah, this is going to create then that honeycomb um, design for you to turn it into an element. So if I just kind of just open it slightly, there you can see that really beautiful honeycomb pattern. So that's the products that make up this Honeycomb Christmas range. Again, you'll find links in the description box down below. And you can buy different bundles on the Craft Stash website. So you can buy the die uh, with the papers, or you can buy a couple of the, the dies, or of course you can buy things individually as well. So let me just show you how some of this will look put together. So to begin with, I've die cut our main Christmas tree die from some grass green cardstock by Craft Perfect. And what I'm gonna do first of all is just pop this uh, back into that die. And I'm gonna use this then like a stencil. So I've got some uh, Rainforest Green ink. Uh, this is by Prism. And I'm literally just gonna then use this die as a stencil. 
and I'm just going to add that extra little bit of detail. So in the magazine itself, I die cut it from some white cardstock and then coloured it in with my Capic Sketch markers. Um, but you can use any sort of medium that you want to. Of course, use um, cardstock like this, coloured cardstock. You could use patterned paper, you know, whatever it is that you want to use um, just to... Uh, die cut this Christmas tree and add some uh, sort of elements. That is our main sort of Christmas tree element. So we can pop that to one side because now we need to die cut our honeycomb element. So I've just cut a section from that honeycomb paper, obviously I don't need to put uh, the whole lot through my die cutter machine and by cutting this down it means I can fit it through my Gemini Mini. Um, the actual main Christmas tree die itself that will need to go through a bigger die cutter machine so I used my regular uh, Gemini but all of these smaller elements will fit through these smaller die cutter machines. So you can see just how easy that came out. So I, with all of these dies, I didn't have any issues uh, with not being able to get these out. So here we have our sort of half a Christmas tree. So I'm gonna bring back in our full Christmas tree. And what I'm gonna do is add some uh, glue to one half of our Christmas tree to begin with. So that should be fine and all I'm going to do is simply line this up with the edge of my paper die cut, make sure that's stuck down nicely. And then what I'm going to do from the three points here, I'm really carefully going to open up uh, this honeycomb paper. So you want to just kind of pull it apart. Uh, sort of gently really just so you don't tear it because this is kind of just like that tissue paper so you want to make sure that you don't uh, wreck it but if you start sort of teasing it apart you'll really begin to see how many layers actually do build up at this honeycomb paper so you can see it's sort of just beginning to come apart here so I'm just being really careful I will pull the kind of very outer sheet uh, just to make sure that I get that uh, out of sort of section undone and then we just want to keep sort of teasing it just to make sure that we get say right to the end we want this to be kind of nice and big um, or kind of as full as possible so we want to just keep opening this up so you can even just sort of pull it straight out so you can see that honeycomb design coming together so I think yeah, that looks like that's kind of the end uh, of that section. That's cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the glue to this side. So I like to do it kind of um, a section at a time just so I don't get anything stuck um, or sort of create any problems for myself. So we can add just a little bit of glue and then I'm really carefully just going to pull this side over and again, I'm going to put it right up to the edge uh, of, of our coloured card. So I've just made sure that that has sort of stuck down nicely. You need to just be careful not to kind of wreck it at this point um, by trying to pull it over. Just do it sort of as carefully as you can. Um, if you do have any areas where it's come back up again right on the edge, just add a little more glue and get that sort of stuck down. So that is gonna be our honeycomb back in. So this is gonna turn into a really, really lovely ornament. What you can do as well, again, if you want this to be kind of a functioning ornament, is just add uh, some ribbon or twine from the top of this and you'll be able to hang this up. So from the front, we have got our sort of full Christmas tree. Again, you can then decorate this. And then if I just turn it sort of from the side, you've got that sort of half a honeycomb at the back. What you could do if you want that full honeycomb look is then die cut this a second time and then you could just put it on this side. So you do have a center which is gonna be your paper. Um, but yeah, like I said, just add a piece out of the top uh, and you can turn that into an actual hanging piece.
So this is just a really simple look at what you can create. So you can see I've just added the pot to the bottom. I've added then those sort of strings. So you could use it as tinsel or as um, sort of lights for this one. And then I just used that uh, star to put a star on top of the Christmas tree. And you can see then just that little bit of detailing on that Christmas tree just really helps kind of define uh, those different sort of three layers. But again, then you can just add your a hanging element from the top and use that to go on your tree. You could decorate, um, you know, anywhere in the house really. You can create a garland with kind of all of these if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, just a really simple way of creating some Christmas decorations. So again, you can use this on its own, on a card, on a scrapbook, any sort of paper product uh, project, or of course then you can use that honeycomb element and create an ornament. So that was a look at using the Creative Craft Products Honeycomb Christmas dies and then that honeycomb paper as well. So let me know in the comment section down below, did you want to see any of the other dies being used? I can uh, show you how to use those and maybe something else that you can create with them. So let me know in the comment section down below. As I said before, there are affiliate links in the product description down below as well. So um, head over to the Craft Stash website to check out the different bundles that you can buy with the dies and the the papers and um, and again then check out the die cut and essentials issue 83 uh, for the commissions that I created uh, for that magazine you've got a picture in there of the product you have a materials list and a uh, instruction uh, how to as well so the next video is going to be on Sunday and that is going to be looking at the new issue of creative stamping magazine that is going to be premiering at 12 o'clock so come over and watch that video then we can watch it together and there is then a chat function on the side of the video so we can chat during that video if you've got any questions or anything I will be there to answer so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you you haven't already to be notified when that gets uploaded um so yeah i will see you on sunday at 12 o'clock for that next video but for this video that's it for today thanks very much for watching and happy crafting